And it looks like there are no other hyperspace connections over here, so we are kind of isolated in this corner. I mean, I don't know how many connections there are going to end up being over here and over here and over here. We do have our own little kind of safe corner to some extent, which is cool. All right. Um, yeah, let's get some robo-modding going on. I'm going to upgrade this to an engineering facility. You guys are going to switch places because robots are better at mining. System survey Colony is concluded. still growing. All our civilian ships are doing stuff. Assist research we don't really need right now, so we're going to take science division. Oh, hey! Looks like we might have found another colonizable world. Vermilion 3? You can tell on our initial uh, readings that it is a wet continental planet. Project concluded. Hopefully it won't have any horrifying planet modifiers on it. Yeah, looks perfectly fine. Um, so we will uh, go ahead and continue expanding our borders around this loop here. <laughs> Actually, the best thing to do might be to go one, two, three and then four, because otherwise if we colonize around the edge and we have these two empty stars, that's going to increase our piracy risk, even though piracy Initial hasn't enabled yet. Alright, initial colonization complete. We already have an engineering facility. I think we'll go for society research next. Research concluded. Survey speed plus 25. Let's get physics labs. More science. I think I'm going to recruit a second uh, science ship, too. Construction project concluded. Tile blocker clear. Alright, we've got... It's really our only food tile, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and suppress the uh, mineral collection here. Construction project complete. We're doing pretty well on minerals, actually. Mining, research, starbase. I like the start. This is a nice little area here. Map yep, the stars has expired. We've got enough influence, so we might as well renew it. Anomaly found. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. Massive sails protruding from its hull. Okay. Luckily, we can't find, like, a million solar sailors anymore, so that's going to be the last, the first and last solar sailor that we have to deal with. All right, we got a new science ship. We're gonna need a new science officer. Grab another roamer, Zhao Zhang, and uh, just auto explore. Construction project concluded. Yep, it's a solar sailor. Same as it ever was. Research concluded. New research. Monthly unity. Yeah, let's do that. Unity's very good. Our hops are not growing that fast.
Birth of Space Piracy. The Sons of the Night. Alright. So that means it's time to hire an admiral. Eager, unyielding, resilient. I like this guy, Johann Müller. We are going to go to the fleet manager. I'm also not going to really design any ships this playthrough. I'm just going to let the game do it for me. And we're going to build up uh, a navy to deal with the space pirates. Uh, I guess we don't know where they are yet. Hostile IFF signatures detected. Hostile IFF signatures. They're coming to our house. They're coming to our house. Colossal impact crater, take a look. Initializing hostile engagement protocols. Yeah, we should win this with our superior admiral ship. Or maybe not. Okay. Construction project concluded. Asteroid collision, great. Okay. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Bakunin. So this is our colonized planet. The building in its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use the facility to aid the colony's production output. Well, fantastic. Construction project concluded. All right. Anomaly you guys go repair. Scarring on the surface of the world in a pattern that can't be natural. Looks almost like writing. And look, more Teldar crystals. We're just like, we're gonna be the primary crystal producers of the galaxy, it seems like. We found the Breek system, which is on Breek. Now that we have space pirates, I want to focus on getting getting up to uh, our fleet cap as quick as we can before we do anything else. Alien writing. Fascinating. And then when we're done surveying this system, I'm going to go ahead and tackle that level 4 anomaly. anomaly. This moon does not seem capable of supporting living beings, but nevertheless, we've detected life signs. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Construction project concluded. We're going to grab leader experience gain through polytechnic education. System survey concluded. Doing well down here. Doing well down here. Ocean beneath the ice, so we can Situation launch a uh, deep space expedition. Or deep sea expedition, rather. And we're about to claim the Elgate system. Hostiles. Let's see, we found pirates. Here they are. How strong are they? They're not strong at all. One system away from Seoul. Great hiding spot, guys. Construction project concluded. Special project concluded. Let's see, we studied the rich biosphere and the seas beneath the ice mantle of In Inigor 6A. Several large species native to the lower regions of the global sea have been found. 
to produce a unique inorganic molecule with immense healing properties. If this molecule is successfully harvested in large enough quantities, it could revolutionize the field of medical science and may even have industrial applications. Fantastic. And uh, apparently Zhao Zheng is so psyched about that that uh, she became maniacal. Those space whales were just so rad that she could not even. Strike Force Dragon has destroyed the pirate station. Now go home and heal. System survey concluded. Construction project concluded. All right, let's build a research station. Let's go colonize Breek. Still says piracy risk is zero. I don't know if that's correct. Because we do have a little bit of a concave going on here, but maybe with our current empire size, it doesn't matter that much. Earth is in need of tile blocker clearing. We don't have a physics lab yet, so we'll get one of those going. <coughs> Research concluded. Planetary unification. All right. So, we chased down the last few, like, uh, Clive and Bundy guys who didn't want to get on board with syndicalism, so now we are planetarily unified. Pop growth speed would be really nice right about now. Yeah, let's do that. Encounter in Sterling, okay. What do we have here? Enigmatic spacefarers. It looks like it's actually an, emp an alien empire. I think that's a fungoid ship. Omicron aliens. Spooky, too spooky for me. Let's let's research them. We might have found our first neighbor. An alien empire has established... Union of Thembor. They are a military junta. Government is a militaristic form of oligarchy. We don't like that. We don't like oligarchies. Their power rests with a council of high-ranking... We don't like high-ranking things. Military officers who oversee all matters of state. Fanatic militarists and spiritualists... <coughs> Archon Grodsun sends regards from the ruling council of the Union of Thembor. We hope for a productive relationship with your people, but be warned that our military will respond to any transgressions near our space with maximum force. Jillian Fawcett speaks on behalf of the USC people. No, actually, we pursue equality, do not stand in our way, is more accurate. All right, so we have discovered our first Xeno Empire. And I don't know if they're an advanced start, but it looks like they might be. So it's time to get into uh, serious military build-up mode. We're going to start researching military techs. Research concluded. Oh, they want to close their borders to us. All right, well, consider your words carefully, beast. Our military could crutch your pitiful nation in one fell swoop. Well... Your fleet power is superior to us. Let's see, they don't like us because we're materialists. We'll close our borders. So yeah, we're going to start focusing on military tech to the exclusion of all else. Just in case we get Operation Barbarossa. Construction project concluded. Uh... Physics lab... Yeah, let's see, fusion reactors are going to be really useful. And yeah, we're going to start we're going to start seriously building up here. I'm not even going to build any um, mining stations until our fleet is capped. System survey concluded. So yeah, tech-wise, we'll we'll research first 
anything that um, speeds up our tech, but then after that, military is the next highest priority. Because I have lost complete. too many games of Stellaris by not looking to uh, my defenses enough. So the latest sensory readings from Proxima and Centauri, this was the space bomber that we found, showed that the star pulsating regularly, but when the crew on the ISS Remembrance arrived on site, there was no evidence to support this data. While most of the crew are in agreement that the anomaly was caused by a sensory malfunction, Kabir Sandharam discards this theory. Kabir Sandharam claims to have discovered similarly pulsating energy emission patterns elsewhere and now fears that something strange is happening to the galaxy's stars. He has charted the course to the nearest, af nearest affected stars. We have to get to the Situation bottom of this. Updated. Interesting. So this is definitely an event chain I haven't seen before. So the nearest affected star is over here. So we're going to send the Remembrance that way immediately. And then go ahead and survey it when you're done. Oh, and we've located Sirius, which is a binary star system, as it should be, with a potentially habitable planet. Have we scanned it yet to find out if it's terrible? No, it looks fine. There's some dangerous wildlife there, but no modifiers that would make it horrible to live on, so that's always good. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not going to build anything until our fleet is capped. Strike Force Dragon. <clears throat> I'm actually going to... That's to Commonwealth of Man. So this is the... This is the people's first... Interstellar Protection Force. People's 1ST... Protectors... All right, we're going to take out the word interstellar. That's too many words. People's first protection force. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on Bakken, and it seems like the colony will maintain the projected production Anomaly estimates. Failed. So nothing weird going on with it yet. Where do we find an anomaly? Class 12 asteroid orbits the moon. Let's take a look. Maxing out the fleet. <clears throat> Got two more ships left. No upgrades to make yet. Construction project concluded. What? Wait, you guys redirected to Sirius to study this? Alright. I guess, uh, Jang didn't trust, trust, uh, herself with it. So she called in the cavalry. Terraforming gases are available in the system of shit. Which is how I will always pronounce that. Uh, those are the ones that Reduce terraforming cost? Yeah. So far we haven't found any planets that we need to terraform, but it's good to know that we have that available. As long as the uh, Thembor don't beat us to it. Let's take a little bit look. Okay, so they have syncretic evolution. So that's definitely a reason to go to war with them, because they are oppressing another sapient species. And uh, a shadow council. They prefer savanna worlds, they are adaptive, they're natural soci sociologists, and they are solitary. Construction project complete. All right. Another day, another Fleet is now officially maxed out, or it will be. We've got robo-modding. We are going to, let's see, we could exploit living metal. Do we actually have a system that has it available though? I know we discovered some somewhere. Oh yeah, it's down here. 
So that would be a lot of science points. Daily hull regen, daily armor regen is really good. Not a high priority though at this point. We're gonna get Corvette hull points up because our entire fleet right now is Corvettes. And then we're gonna slowly scale up our um, production again. We're gonna create a uh, mining bot MK2. Mining bot MK2s. Mining bot MK2, okay. We're gonna make them really good at harvesting minerals. And I want, I think our mining bots are gonna be this big bulky deal. Sweet. Fly template. Situation log updated. Slow down our engineering research. Toad asteroid, all right. Something weird is going on here. I think I might have fixed it. Um, either something's wrong with my keyboard or something's up with the game. Concluded. I'm going to go ahead and save and see if I can fix this. One moment. Yeah, I am, I am playing in the beta patch, so that's probably what's causing the weirdness. Anyway, we are going to get Faith in Science, which will give us tech every, t or unity every time we research tech. Very good to get it early in the game. Um, how did we miss a energy credit thing here? Also, do we have enough to exploit this? Not yet. Okay. So we are retrofitting our bots. We should also start building some on the surface here. Alright, build pop. We don't have enough. We don't have enough yet. Mining bot mark two, there we go. We'll make sure he has a mining network to work at. System survey concluded. Sweet. All right, now we'll save up for construction. Making sure we can seize all these colonizable systems. Johann Müller has become a fleet logistician, which is great. And now the Remembrance should be on its way to uh, figuring out what's going on with the stars. Something's something's up. Something's up with those stars. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. I hope the stars are not all broken. That would be sad. Comet sighted. It's a good omen. Fantastic. Campaign for a new chancellor's underway. Construction project concluded. On the crew's arrival to Hizel, they were able to confirm that their sensors were indeed malfunctioning. The good news is that not only were the initial estimates for the star's energy output grossly understated, Kabir Sundharam seems to have learned from past mistakes. So nothing was wrong with the stars, I guess? Um, okay. It's probably one of the less... <laughs> Interesting ways that event chain could have ended. But I'll take it. Set him to auto exploration when he gets done doing whatever he's doing. That's not correct. Oh, it can't, it can't reach any, uh, can't reach any further, uh, unexplored systems because he was just an elected chairperson. So... I guess in determining that the stars were not broken, uh, it boosted his campaign to the point that they, they put him in charge of 
everything. Um, so Jean Luo will be our new captain of the Remembrance. Research concluded. Pop growth speed. System survey concluded. Gene clinics are good to have. So let's get some. Finish building mining stations here. And then I would like you to build a starbase outpost once we can appropriate the resources for it. I will not say funds because System survey concluded. that's inaccurate. We are a moneyless society. Just appropriate resources for various things. Um, also, I'd like you to go check that out real quick. Probably going to wrap up fairly shortly here for this this particular recording session. Man, we are finding some freaking mineral-rich systems. This is like craziness here. Clear the last tile blocker on Earth. Cleaning up the last industrial wasteland. <coughs> going to build another science lab. And we have a homeless pop on Alpha Centauri. Should be working on... Now let's prioritize engineering. Oh no wait, we don't have a monument down here yet. Let's prioritize unity. Anomaly found. Challenging, we're gonna leave that be for now. What was the flavor text? Ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. I bet our friend uh, Zhao can handle that one, actually. Even though she usually, she usually calls for uh, Kabir on the bat phone when there's a level 4 anomaly. I think uh, he's he's indisposed at the moment, trying to manage affairs on Earth. Awesome, we found an alien mural in shit. We're gonna decode it. Construction project concluded. We are going to start building some mining stations here. An extremely mineral rich empire. Concluded. Piracy risk should be getting a little bit high. Man, are we going to have a lot of minerals. Concluded. And we can start upgrading our uh, government concluded. building down here, too. Special project concluded. Amazing! We've translated the mural. Special project concluded. Alright, um, so we've modified the mining bot species, we translated an alien mural, we have more minerals than we could possibly know what to do with, but we really need to bolster our energy situation. I think that's where we're going to leave it off for today. Um, the unit of Thimbor is still looming they have a higher naval capacity and a higher fleet power than us so we're really going to have to try to catch up um through colonization and through some more military techs uh we really want to seize serious um as quickly as possible so they can't take it from us and then we might we might turn Here's the risk we have to consider. We can play it safe and turn um, Sturil into a fortress system. But that's basically ceding uh, Churgamor and Fog... 
Fog and Hinayad. I think that's actually the name of a Paradox employee. That's why it's so long and complicated. Um, to potentially ceding that to the Union of Thembor and uh, restricting our ability to expand out through this hyperlane over here. So what I'd really like to do is beat them to Churgamor and use that as our fortress system. But that's a very aggressive play. We might end up needing to settle for um, Sturil and then taking our chance to expand after we liberate you know, their people. Can we see... We probably can't see their planet. I want to know what their other subservient species is. Uh, yeah, we can't really see yet. But they will be liberated by the United Syndicates of Earth and our permanent revolution to bring uh, true workers' liberation to the entire galaxy. Um, so we'll see, we'll begin that, uh, or we'll continue that quest next time. Um, this is going to be a regular series alongside our ongoing E for Canada. Um, it's going to be this in Stellaris for a while. We probably will be doing some more Hearts of Iron when the 0 0.7 Divided States patch comes out for Kaiserreich. So look forward to that. Until then, um, loresworn.com is our website. We are at Lorsworn Order on Twitter. I am at AsaTJ, that is A-S-A-T-J. Uh, if you're interested in Imperator Rome, you can go read my in-depth preview on IGN right now. Subscribe, hit the notification thing, all the usual stuff. You guys know the drill, and we will catch you next time.